this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to change contact information on eBay. That's right, another eBay how-to video for you guys, which I think is very important. I wanted to do a series on them. And I'm going to put the links down below of the other ones I have out already, and then you can check those out too if you have other questions about eBay. If you have a question about eBay and you wouldn't mind seeing a how-to video, go ahead and put it down in the comments, and then I'll, I'll probably get to that and have another one up for you so you can see how that works. So if you have questions about eBay, please put them down in the comments. All right. But before we start on this, how to change contact information on eBay, please hit the like button for this video. It really helps out our channel. Also hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new how-to videos. All right, let's get started. Well, what we need to do here is obviously get onto our eBay account. So I haven't done that yet, so I'm going to open one of the tabs. I'm going to type in eBay. eBay. There you go. Now I'm on eBay. I'm already signed into my eBay account. And you might not be, but if you are not signed in, just go to the top here. There should be like a sign in next to your hi Jason name. That's what they have on me, but it should say hi and there'll be a sign in. Just sign into your account. Once you're signed in, you want to go back to the top left and you're going to hover over your little down arrow next to your name. And then you're going to go down to account settings. So we're going to click on account settings here. And this is the way I'm going to show you. There's probably other ways to get here than there is. You guys can get there if you need to and do it that way. Okay, now we're on the My eBay page, the main page. So you're going to go down to, which is the account tab. Under personal info on the left here, you're going to look for personal information. Pretty straightforward. We're going to click on that. And then it's going to ask for my password again, especially if you haven't logged in in a while. Like if you, you're logged in, but you waited too long, they usually force you to re-sign in. It's for security purposes. So I'm just going to hit sign in because my password's already there and my username's there. Okay, now I'm in the personal information section of my account. And if you look down three, you'll see contact info. That's what we're looking for today. So this is where you can update your email address. You can update your phone number. You can also update your main address on your eBay account. Now, this is cool because I will show I want to show you in the in this video how to do the phone number since that's the one I had a had to do for my uh, for my eBay. So we're going to go over to the right side and click on edit. And this brings up this for higher level of protection. Uh, make sure your personal info is up to date, which is very smart. So there's phone type is the first one. And this is kind of you either have a landline or you can do a mobile. Not many people have landlines anymore. And maybe there are some people out there that still do. I mean, I know some people have both, but I don't have a landline anymore. I only have my mobile. So that's what I would select. That's what we're going to select in here. Now, the second thing is country or region. Now, you might be in a different country than I am. I'm in the United States. But if you're not, click the down arrow next to that, and you can pick from many, many places <laughs> wherever you live. So I keep it with the United States. I click on that. And then here you want to put in the phone number, your, your mobile number, or your landline no number if you did, and you put that right here. Now, if you put your mobile number, they're probably going to see you a verification code to your phone a security code that you can use it's a um, and then of course they warn you standard rate applies which makes sense if you don't get free texting and stuff like that but most people nowadays i think get free texting i don't know many people who don't anymore so that shouldn't cost you anything so once you do that it might send you a code it might not but most of the time it will and then if once you're done once you key in all that information you just hit the save button right here the blue one once you hit save it does this is update updated successfully and that's it it gets you verified because i'm already verified so it's going to show verified now just follow the directions when it sends you the code it will say put the code in and usually when you hit that it'll go to a different screen to put the code in so that's how you do your phone number and your contact information same thing with your um, email if you go to edit and you can put your email in here and you when you hit save they might send you a verification to verify your email. Normally, um, websites do, so you might get that too, but hit save just like you do it. I want to cancel because I'm not doing that. And then obviously your address, same thing, hit edit, and they'll fix your contact information. So it's that simple to do it. So let's hit edit so you can see what it looks like. So it looks like this. Then you hit save, change everything, and that's it. Then you're all done. So all your contact, your main contact information is under personal information on your eBay account. And that's how you can update or change your contact info on your eBay account. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com uh, where all, all our articles are and make sure to subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.